Good afternoon, everybody. This is Caramel. Oh, guys, I can't even comprehend the size of this alligator. Holy mackerel. Now, his tail is curved. It's really tough to say how long he is, but look what's beside him. Okay, so why would this alligator have his head in the water? That's kind of weird. Now, alligators do go into its brumation, at least they did up in Hilton Head and other areas, where they are going to go into what's called a gator hole. You know, there could be a mud hole that we can't see. Oh, oh, he's moving. Okay. Could be a mud hole that we can't see, and that alligator may not have his head actually in the water. It could be breathing air in a mud hole, but I just, I don't know, highly doubt it. It's just weird. I hope it's still alive. And the only reason I mention that is because the, one of the weirdest things I saw today was a dead alligator that had to be dead for a couple days, floating on its back. It was yellowish, kind of creepy. And even creepier was a smaller alligator, not a juvenile, definitely, you know, probably a six-footer, uh, was pushing the dead alligator around. Now, remember, they're, oh, wow, he's moving. They're opportunistic reptiles, and, you know, a free meal is a free meal, end of story. But isn't that creepy? Yeah, so if you haven't seen that video, I posted it on this channel, what stays in the swamp. Now, what happens in the swamp stays in the swamp. Isn't that crazy? All right, guys, so we don't know what's going on over here on the left. It's just crazy. All right, have a great day.